Hi, I'd like to teach you how to do the cross trick. This is not mine originally. Uh, it was taught to me by a friend and I could not find a source for where exactly it came from. But uh, it's an absolutely wonderful uh, gospel application for a simple trick, something that you can learn to do very easily and uh, help to spread the good word. So. To do the cross trick, you just need a piece of paper. It does not need to be a blank piece of paper. It could be a flyer. It could be a menu from a restaurant. I've used many different things uh, in order to do this trick down to a, uh, a little memo pad. Okay, so I'm going to tell you the story that I tell first. Feel free to use whatever you want, and um, then I'm going to teach you how to do it. So there once was a man who was very wealthy. He had everything he could possibly want, and yet he could not find happiness. You see, he had a beautiful boat, and he used his beautiful boat to sail around the seas, but it did not make him happy. So he bought himself a big house up on top of a mountain, and overlooking a beautiful valley, and he thought that that would make him happy, but yet it did not. So he bought himself a really fast jet, and decided to travel the world, and that he did. But even in traveling the world, that did not make him happy. One day he landed in a little town, and he was walking past a church. And all the people coming out were smiling and laughing and having a great time. And he stopped and he asked, What is it that makes you so happy? You see, I have all the money in the world, and I'm not happy. And the people told him, You see, you don't need all of that extra stuff. You can simply get rid of the jet. You can get rid of the house. You can get rid of the boat. Those things are just extra. What's going to make you happy is what we've got. That's in our hearts. And it's in your heart too. You just have to let it out. And that's Jesus. Okay, so you end up with the cross. Let me teach you how to do that. It is exactly what I just did. There is no trick. Uh, it is just folding the paper. And it doesn't matter which way you fold it, front or back, but you start by making the boat. Okay? And then the next thing you do, if you've made the boat, is fold it over. It doesn't matter. Fold it frontwards, fold it backwards, doesn't make a difference. And you make the house. And then you fold it again. This is going to, you're going to come back to this. This is going to be the church. But you keep folding. And you make the airplane. Okay? You'll see this one way I fold it sometimes is the flap sticking up. Uh, it really doesn't matter. The other way you fold it, that won't happen. Okay, so anyway, you make the airplane. You come back to the church again. And then. It's easier to flip it over and tear because there's only a couple pieces of paper here. If you try to tear it down, it's very hard to tear from the top down. I did two tears. First, I do about a third and I tear that off. And I'll show you why because there's a little bonus ending if you want to do something really neat at the end. And that's what this cardboard is for back here. I'll show you in a second. Tear off one piece and then I tear off the other. And what that leaves you with is a cross. Okay? What's interesting is if you're accepting the cross, you're accepting Christ into your life, you're tearing away all of that extra. So the question is what is it that you are tearing away? What does all of this represent? Well, it's all here. These are the pieces I just tore off. And as I open them up, I'm going to show you what it is that I cut out of my life. All I'm using here is a, um, a piece of cardboard sprayed with a little bit of uh, 3M spray. That's how I do it when I perform this. 
as well. And that is all of the pieces. That's what you took out of your life, what you cut out. It makes it a really neat trick. I honestly, I don't usually do this part. Uh, performing for children and everything, I don't usually do it. Um, and also, it takes extra time, but if it's for a sermon, you've got the time, and it really makes a really interesting um, uh, illustration. Interestingly enough, those same exact pieces can be rearranged to spell life, too, which gives you a lot of other possibilities. L I Oh, this is the dot for the I here. F E so you can also spell life, okay? Um, either way, you can do great illustrations. I hope that this was helpful to you. I hope you use it to spread the good word. And please drop me any comments, any questions. Uh, send, your, send a video of yourself performing it would be awesome. Thank you very much. God bless you.